Hi guys, we're still on the MSI booth at uh, CEBIT 2009 and uh, we'll talk about the GTX uh, 260 uh, Lightning Edition. So, could you present yourself? Uh, what is your role inside MSI and uh, what's the key features? We'll talk us about that after. Uh, I'm Erik van Beurden. Uh, I work for uh, MSI EU product marketing. So, uh, we always look what kind of new features we have to introduce what kind of new uh, specs uh, we will put on the next generation VGA cars. So, and that's also uh, how we came up with Lightning. Okay, and uh, what's the key features of this uh, special graphic card? That's really a lot. <laughs> uh, you know from the OC events, eh? you were in Amsterdam. Yeah, the EMOA okay. from Tepe. And yeah, uh... so uh, we had some product managers from VGA and they looked at VGA cards and they saw all the OC guys uh, measuring the voltage on the VGA cards. And not only that, also doing over voltage. So uh, modeling the VJ cars that they can do higher voltage. So what we did, one of the VJ product managers saw that, what we did, we put small uh, voltage measure points on there, okay. so you don't have to solder uh, on special places your own uh, measure points. Okay, it's like just picking the multimeters and uh, yeah. putting on the PCB yeah, and adding special uh special place where to find yeah, this uh, indeed. voltage. So it's on the side of the PCB, you can find it very easy, very accessible. So um, another thing was we did uh, uh, already modded the board, so you can uh, overvolt it by uh, a large percentage, and because of that, um, the, you can overclock it very high. So uh, to overclock it very high, the, you need, of course, better cooling. So we equipped it with two fans. Okay. Second to that, you need a very good PWM. PWM delivers the power from the uh, power source to the GPU. Okay. So what we did. We uh, used, uh, let me see over here, you see it very clearly, uh, we used the 8-phase PWM for the GPU and a 2-phase uh, PWM for the memory. Memory, okay. Okay, so it's a 10-phase PWM and uh, I know from mainboards we are delivering the message less is more with Dr. Moss. But this, of course, with GPUs it's totally different because with a GPU, uh, mainboard has 80 watts, 130 watts. A GPU starts at that frequent, of uh, at that uh, power usage. Okay, so, so that's why you can't use Dr. Moss on the graphic card. We can use Dr. Moss on the graphic card, but there are two reasons why we don't do it. First of all, uh, price. Dr. Moss is still quite expensive, and second, uh, place. If you look at the PCB, we didn't have enough space to put Dr. Moss on, so we had to put it on the back side of the ah. PCB. So we are working on that and maybe in the next generation Lightning, so this is not the only one, uh, we will see a Lightning uh, VJ card with Dr. Moss. Okay, that looks cool. And um, will you extend this kind of features with uh, maybe ATI series or maybe ATI next series? Yeah, we're looking into it. Uh, this is the first generation Lightning, so it's a product we put all product specs on and uh, we're now looking at uh, other VJ cards, but we don't want to introduce this on a VJ card with a short lifespan. Because okay. if you now uh, take this uh, kind of technology features and you put it on a VJ card which is end of life next week, it doesn't make sense. Nobody wants to buy it. Eh? We of all course. want to buy the fast uh, stuff. <laughs> of course. Um, what about the frequencies of about the 270 GTX? Uh, I forgot. 260 I forgot. GTX, sorry. Um, be yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we, uh, we made an extra strong PWM, uh, we, we can do it over vaulting. Uh, this is why we can do it, uh, make it even more faster than a normal uh, GTX 260, even faster than a GTX 260 OC. So this one runs uh, the core clock at 770, yep. so which is very high. Uh, the memory clock at 2100 and the shader clock at 1600. These are not the final speeds, so. Um, we, we can up uh, higher frequency for the retail version. Yeah, you can even, uh, that's why uh, we in, in, uh, included the uh, over voltage part. You can even increase it more. So, and that's the cool stuff, because we actually, we did, this was just all the features. Now we're talking <laughs> about the cool stuff. Yeah. So, uh, this, we all use high quality components. So for the PWM, uh, we use uh, high C caps. High C caps, like we can see on some motherboards. Yes, uh, only, we use this only on the diamond mainboards on a high end for the PWM to filter the signal to the CPU. So now we also will use it on the, this VJ card. Okay. And um, uh, because of this uh, high quality components, uh, you can also overclock it much higher. So we have the Air Force panel. Why Air Force? 
Why Air Force? Why Air Force indeed? <laughs> I ask you why Air yeah, Force? Why Air Force? <laughs> because this panel you don't have to touch. You can touch it. Huh? You can touch it with your <laughs> finger and change mm, uh, the frequency. It. But it's uh, electromagnetic, so you can also move in front of it. That's why with air you force it with air to change the settings. That's just marketing. No, well we maybe we do later a live demo. <laughs> it's really cool technology. So um, and that's not all. Uh, you can put it on your desk, okay. but also internally in a drive bay. So it's connected via USB and you can use it on uh, uh, several uh, locations. Okay, and uh, as it's USB, you need to have a specific driver in Windows to run yes. this kind of... Yes, you need to have a, a, a special uh, no driver, a special kind of software which interacts with this panel. This panel, you can change the core clock, the memory clock, the shader clock. Uh, also the voltage. Uh, also the voltage. You you have special uh, settings for power saving because VJ cards they use always a lot of power. Okay. And not uh, not always uh, everybody is playing games. So sometimes you're just typing emails or other boring yeah, stuff. Of so uh, in this case, normally VJ cards are using a lot of power. With the power saving modes, you can lower down the power saving. Of uh, sorry, you can increase the power saving, lower down the <laughs> power usage. Okay, so it's like the green power genie stuff uh, uh, from the motherboard. Yeah, well, green power, uh, green power is actually uh, the way how we optimize the PCB. So if we have a PCB, this is a custom PCB, own design. Uh, all the traces in the PCB they uh, can leak power. So we optimize the PCB, they don't leak power. Okay. Green power genie, that's something else. Green power genie is what we have on the high-end mainboards. Uh, we put it between the uh, PSU, the power supply, and the mainboard to monitor the power. Okay. Uh, Did I already mention, yeah, you think about your next question. Did I already mention we also doubled the memory? So it's not the standard memory size, uh, it's almost 2 gigabytes. So with this, yeah, we put everything on there, what you can imagine. Okay, and uh, by affording a card like this uh, Lightning Edition, it's like... It's almost like the same performance as the GTX 280 GTX. Yeah, uh, it's close to a uh, 285 uh, GTX, uh, the new version G uh, Nvidia introduced uh, last month. Uh, but the, this depends, of course, on the overclock level. So we will introduce it at high standard speeds, but we want to give the customers uh, the opportunity to even. Uh, you are also liquid nitrogen, so yeah. Of course. yeah so <laughs> this, we want to give the customers uh, the possibility to push it even further. Okay, perfect. Do you know the price of this uh, retail car? No, uh, of course, because of all the features, it will be uh, something higher than the standard, uh, than the reference design. Everybody is selling the reference design card. Eh? So, uh, because of the whole all high quality components, uh, it will be higher for sure. But I don't know the special of the, the exact price, but it will be worth it. Okay, we can explain. This one like you can push. 50 euros more than the OC version. Uh, to be like honest, that. I I don't know any pricing at this moment. Okay. But soon we will know when we will sample the card. Okay, and when will you sample the card? And when uh, will you launch it for the retail market? This will be in a few weeks available on the market. So uh, expect uh, that we will have samples out in a few weeks' time, and the retail the cards will hit the retail, uh, let's say uh, beginning of April. Okay. Okay, thank you for all this information. Okay, you're and, welcome. Um, hope to see you again, maybe when we will move to your to Amsterdam to make some ah, special interview or stuff like that. In a coffee shop. In a coffee shop, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, see you, bye-bye. You're welcome. Thanks.